Hello, today I'm going to show you how to control the returned HTTP header when working with an HTTP trigger. Here you can see a very simple project. In the project, the HTTP trigger receives an HTTP request with no arguments. The HTTP trigger then invokes the flow, which loads a chosen PDF file into a blob. The HTTP trigger then returns this blob as the HTTP response. Let's take a more detailed look at our project. Here is the HTTP trigger that returns the return PDF blob. Here, the Magic XPI installation PDF is loaded into the blob using the file to blob function and is then returned to the client that called the trigger. So, let's start the project using the monitor. Next, I'll open the example file. You can generate this file by going to the HTTP services endpoint. Here, select the generate sample HTML checkbox and this is where the file is created. Back in the web browser, I'll call the Magic XPI trigger by clicking Call Magic XPI. And here we can see what was returned. What you see now is actually the PDF file, but because there aren't any specific HTTP headers, the browser treats the PDF like plain text and we can't read it. Now, let's stop the project and go back to the studio to set our HTTP headers. In the Flow Data Configuration dialog box, I click New. I select a logical variable because the function that I want to use returns a logical variable. And the function is called Set HTTP Headers. The first parameter is the list of headers separated by a delimiter that you define in the second parameter. In this example I'll enter content type colon application slash PDF. This is the only header that I'm going to use so I'll just add a second parameter to define the delimiter which in this case is a comma. What I'm doing here is adding the application PDF content type to the return header parameters. Now, let's build the project. Back in the monitor, I'll start the project again. Then I open the example file and call the Magic XPI trigger again to return the PDF. And here you can see that the correct and readable PDF has been returned. This is because we sent the right application PDF MIME header so the browser knows that it must treat the return data as a PDF and display it accordingly. Today we've seen how to control the returned HTTP header when working with HTTP triggers. I hope you'll join me again soon for some more magic.